A Kansas City family says they're shaken after the death of a loved one following a chase involving law enforcement. They're also expressing skepticism at what investigators are telling them tonight. They claim they only learned of the chase through hospital staff. Fox Force Jacob Kittlestad joins us from our roundabout at 72nd Overland Drive in Platte County. The crash scene and Jake family says it happened on the driver's birthday. Well, that's right, John, and they were frantically trying to get in touch with him after it happened, not realizing that he had been taken to a local burn unit. Family says his body was burned 70% of it, including his face. That was our saying with each other. I love you, Infinity. I love you, Infinity Plus. I love you, Infinity Plus Plus. Denise Foreman holds the letter from her son, Jeannie Howard. She says it shows his growing maturity. In prison, he got his GED, and he was the valedictorian. This last stint gave him perspective. He grew from a boy to a man. It's why his family disputes the narrative from the Missouri State Highway Patrol, which on Monday gave us this information. Late December 27th, the pursuit started on I-29 with a suspected impaired driver. The trooper backed off at the 72nd Street exit, approaching the fiery crash at the roundabout after it had already happened. The family says no one notified them and only grew concerned because of their unanswered phone calls, eventually finding his name listed at a hospital. My son is burned over, over, uh, <laughs> he's burned over 70% of his body. He, uh, I, I didn't even recognize him. And I made it here. My brother stay long enough to, to let me tell him I love him. And then <clears throat> he went on. He let me and my little sister and my son come in the room. And after that, they just had to start pumping on him. It's like he was waiting for us to get here or something. I had no idea that all of this was the result of the police chasing my son. Working for you, we asked the Missouri State Highway Patrol about why no one notified the family. We found out that's department policy. The Highway Patrol does notify family if someone dies, but it's not standard in accidents where someone is just injured. It took three days for Jeannie Howard to die, family says, and that lack of information has fueled their skepticism of the pursuit story. I want them to be held accountable. How you got us crying, how you made my mom and dad go through things. Some people need to be reprimanded. There needs to be some more proper training. And the family says once again that they heard about the pursuit from hospital staff, which, John, is not common procedure.